All right, I'm doing a little test here with uh, my little uh, uh, homemade uh, emergency lighting power system here at the house just to show off some of these bulbs and what they draw and stuff and if what we're doing is worthwhile or not. But anyway, that's a, it's a very, very, very old 45 watt, 12 volt solar panel. Puts out about 17 some odd volts. And uh, this is my little funky setup. I've got a uh, standard uh, charge controller here to control the charge going into the battery. I've got a 750 watt inverter, which is what I use on my boat. And it powers all kinds of things. And uh, it's overkill for what I'm doing here. So the experiment's kind of skewed. Uh, you wouldn't need this big of a an inverter to run a 40 watt light bulb. So this is kind of a skewed uh, experiment. But I also have a, a lux meter here, a light meter, to show the uh, the light from three different bulbs. And the one on the left is the LED bulb, the 40 watt equivalent that draws about seven and a half watts. Uh, this is a 40 watt equivalent CFL. It draws about 10 watts and this is your standard it says 38 watt 120 volt incandescent light bulb and this is what's probably going to go bye bye uh, they just use too much power and this is a good way to show this right here um, especially for those of us that are thinking at some point in time we're going to have to maybe supply our own energy at some point power outages or whatever but this is the poor man's setup. Uh, I got that off eBay used. It's very, very old. I got this battery, which is a, a wheelchair, uh, electric wheelchair uh, golf cart kind of battery, sealed so you can have it in the house. I've got an amp meter here, very old, used to show the amp draw. Uh, this I got off of a discount house. wasn't very expensive. And this I got at Amazon.com. But let me show you the the best case scenario right now with the bulb is this and this is the 40 watt equivalent that I've been showing the last couple of videos first off let me turn the inverter on and show you the amp draw with just the inverter okay there's the amp draw with just the inverter it looks to me about 300 milliamps that's not doing anything that's just sitting there and that's why I say this is overkill for trying to light a light bulb but this is what I'm using. This is this is reality. This is the real world of what I use on the boat. When I go away for three or four or five days, I want a big enough inverter so I can run stuff off of it. And I actually uh, used that size for most of my needs on the boat. So let me show you the, um, here's the, the light meter right there. Let me put this LED bulb in here. There's the LED bulb on. There's the lux. This is a lux meter and that's times 10. There's the amp draw. Very similar to what I was showing in my other experiments. This is just under 1 amp, which is about what I was showing with the uh, Laser Saber Jewel Ringer 2.0. So at this point, my setup, unless I could run multiple ones of these, which is what peanut butter is doing. I'm not gaining anything here. I might as well just use a regular inverter. Now if I could run half a dozen of these with that same amp draw, now we're talking something. But you'd have to get the same amount of light out of all the bulbs to make some kind of a statement. Okay, that's the best thing I've seen so far as far as amp draw versus lumens of light. Let me put the, the uh, CFL in right now. This is a 40 watt equivalent. I don't think it does that good. There's that. I'll help it out a little bit. I'll move this under the bulb a little bit more. It's close. You know, when it heats up, it's about the same as that to LED bulb. But look at my amp draw. There's the amp draw up there, uh, heading toward 2 amps. So, this is better than that at this point. Now, let's try the old favorite here, the incandescent. 
This is rated at 38 watts, 120 volts. There's my lumen meter right there. Lux meter. There's the incandescent on there. Let it heat up a little bit. But look at that. Four amps. Take in fact it just shut off the inverter. And this bulb is hot now. This is hot to touch. So like I say, this this is ancient history as far as I'm concerned, as far as emergency home lighting uh, for um, most applications, unless you really, really are in love with an incandescent bulb, we're going to have to go this way or this way. Now, as far as the uh, laser saber jewel ringer, um, the jury's still out. I'm still looking at different things on that circuit, but uh, this is what I want. I want something that will work off of this type of system, and this is what I have here at the house, and I have something very similar on the boat, and uh, I've got to be able to beat some pretty good pieces of equipment right there. Anyway, thanks for watching.